I'm a bit of an arty person. I enjoy just going out, drawing pictures, taking photos. Um, I struggle academically at school, I was. Always uh, struggled, didn't enjoy that type of thing. So I was arts captain at Yarra Valley Grammar, so a lot of people thought I would have been sports captain, but went the other way and enjoyed the arts. And when I head overseas at the end of the year, I take obviously the camera, sketchbook with me, and do a few drawings, take a few photos, and uh, it just takes you away from the, the busyness of Melbourne of AFL football. I heard a quote, what we do now echoes in eternity. So um, it kind of clicked with me and I thought, gee, it's, I, it's something that I'd like to live my life by. What I'm going to do today, well, it's going to have repercussions on what goes on in life. Um, so I had that written, uh, tattooed around my back. Always like birds and wings and angels, those type of things. Everything to me has, a, it's not a religious belief or anything like that. It's more just uh, the way I was feeling on that, that time and that situation in my life. The last 12 months, very heated conversations as father and son and also as son and all, as a footballer and manager. So it's been very heated, there's been a few words thrown around the room and he's probably walked, walked away and left you. He's an absolute prick of a person, he's a prick of a son. So um, I've had the same thoughts about him as well, but uh, he, he's there obviously in the best interest of me and he's had to put his manager hat on numerous times and also at the same time be, be my father when I need him or a shoulder to lean on. I'm 26. In terms of life, I'm still very young, but in football terms, I'm on the, the older half, the second half player of my career now. 12, 18 months that have just passed, it's probably been the darkest times for myself personally, with the grief that I cop. You try and say you don't read papers, you don't read social media, um, it's everywhere now. You walk down the street, some days I couldn't even walk out of my house because I was having my car vandalised, I had things stuck to my house. Uh, it's one of the main reasons I moved out of inner suburbs of Richmond. Um, I was living in there, but it just became too much. and pretty much gave in and to what people were doing and said that I've had enough, I need my own space, I need surrounding, I need security, I've had enough of what's going on. But right now, I couldn't be in a better mindset. Um, if you asked me that three, four months ago, it would have been the total opposite still. So um, I'm, right now I'm sitting here a happy person, I'm enjoying life and uh, looking forward to what, what's to come in the near, near future. I'd probably as a kid, parents on the, on the boundary line were yelling out and abusing me, giving me grief from a young age. So. Now as a 26 year old, I can't, I'm pretty much used to it, um, it's like water off a duck, duck's back really, I get used to people having a go at me. Um, now I'm, I'm just happy to, I'm happy to be a cloak, I, I love my family, I love my friends, I obviously love my dog and I've got nieces and nephews uh, that are growing up as well and they're going to experience the exact same thing. So um, I'm very happy to be a cloak, I, I have a lot of grief for being one, but this is who I am.